it going folks welcome back thought i'd do um just a few clips of um setting a trap try and catch a mink on the, uh, the river uh, obviously there's quite a few down here and the club waters and the farmers do, do want them gone um, and although we've been hunting them and shooting them i say you can you can trap them by law as uh, they're quite a destructive species really they'll take not only fish and um you know vermin and pests but they will take take literally anything from frogs to the rare birds and stuff like that so so yeah i thought i'll do a few clips try and set this trap um and we'll come down each night have a, have, give it a check and uh, see if we can catch a, a mink in it and the trap i actually got is well it's actually a rabbit trap or a cat trap <laughs> feral cat trap um so it's fairly big but obviously big enough for easily big enough for a mink um, a mink trap would probably be in between this size and the size of a, a squirrel trap um, it is a live catch trap i do like using a live cat traps as i might have said before in one of the videos purposely for the fact that if you do hit something you know if you do catch a species that you're not supposed to be catching then it can be released unharmed then you know um it's amazing how many robins and birds that i've actually had in live rat traps when i've been trapping for rats which obviously on a break back track or um a gin trap that well, not a gin trap sorry they're they're illegal the um the mark fours traps then obviously the you know the animal's gonna be dead no matter what it is so i always do I tend to prefer a live trap but anyway we'll get some some clips of you setting it and um checking it the old dogs are doing a bit of mouse hunting so all they've done is just, just dug the bunk out a bit, got it on a flat base for now. That's they've just sprinkled some on the floor of the cage as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the bait in before finally covered up. Obviously it'll have an entrance on one end and um, it's closed at the other. So there we go, that's the bait basically. Tin of sardines. I've got bits of rabbit and uh, fish and stuff like that. I thought I'd give that a go. Has um got plenty of them for the dog, so be as good as anything. Put a couple of stakes in just to hold it against the bank. For now. And then um, basically just cover it up, then we brush and leaves. So there you go. I've just put a bit of earth up to the top and a little bit on the front. Try not to put too much in because the door needs to shut. We just make sure it's clear of any any twigs and sticks when it does shut and uh, like I say it's concealed that one end so naturally they're quite inquisitive animals they don't want to go in a hold and see it as a bit of safety so there we go we'll check that tomorrow um, often when you trap a mussolid like a stoat or a mink or a weasel um, the scent and the, the urine if you like from the animal once it's in the cage is usually enough to, to sort of lure others back in so you often you don't need to bait them that much really but um yeah we'll see what we do with it i'll try and get some clips hope we can catch one put it all together um and yeah something for you to watch there we go it's been down 24 hours nothing much in it yet There we go folks, there's one in it, dogs have found it. So there we go folks, I'm just going to dispatch it as quickly as possible. So there you go, like I say, ferocious predators, they will pretty much eat literally anything on the river from amphibians, fish, to any type of bird and any type of mammal they can get their hands on. As I say, they're quite uh, interesting really, they're semi-aquatic, you see they've got slightly webbed feet for swimming, so they're nothing like the um, pole cat. Um, or the stoat and weasel, even though they are the same family. But yeah, they are ferocious predators. And numbers do have to be kept down, so... Uh, I think this is, looking at it, looks like it's one of this year's young. Obviously they'll start dispersing and stuff now. Uh, finding their own little territories, so... But there we go. Hopefully get the numbers down a bit. Yeah, so like I say, it's reset now. Um, and yeah, there's no, no bait in it as such now, they'll just leave it. From the centre of the other one. See if we can catch a few more really. There's the old boy. 
Jim. There you go. Just to show you, for anyone who's thinking, if your dog hunts mink, you're going to want to kill a ferret. But it's not really the case, really. If you break your dog to ferrets, you know, they're a totally different animal. They'll throw off a different scent. And, uh, you know, a wise dog would know this, really. And I still expect the terriers to work along the ferrets when it comes to ratting a rabbit in. But also, nice to be able to locate mink with them as well. So, there we go.